Hey, what's up guys? So we're heading to Canadian Tire to buy some supplies for the ballistic knife. Uh, we're gonna make one with only a $30 budget in Canadian money. And if you don't know what Canadian money looks like, it looks like this. <laughs> That's Canadian money. So 30 of these, and we're gonna go buy ourselves two, no wait, one shower curtain pipe that has two pieces that fits inside each other. And we're gonna buy some screws, and if you have it at home, which you probably do, you need electric tape and a Dremel and or a hacksaw, it doesn't really matter, and uh, a drill, and that's it. And you will make a ballistic knife out of that. So grab those supplies, and we're gonna go, and you're gonna see us in there. Gotta be away. Alright, so just get a small shower curtain pipe. And as you can see, the price $13. So, on our $30 limit budget for this ballistic knife, uh, it's an excellent buy. Just make sure you get the small one because the bigger ones are a lot more expensive and a lot of shit you do not need. So, this is gonna be perfect. And let's move on to number two. Alright, so. We're gonna get the screws now. We're only looking for one decent screw sack. Uh, it shouldn't be hard, too hard to find. If you find the section. Ooh, perfect. So on a $30 budget, you only need one or two screws and they're like 30 cents each, so perfect buy. Now we just need to find one that is good for the project. So the screws we got is these ones. We do a nice little zoom on these. So these screws here are only $1.59 with a $13 pipe, so we're only at $14 right now, so we're not even at half our budget, and we got pretty much all the supplies we need. All right, so these springs here are only $1.49, but we're gonna need a few of them, so we're gonna need to grab at least three or four springs. Now, remember that these are really cheap, so three or four may be a lot to you, but they're honestly, it's gonna be $4 or five bucks. So we're just gonna grab four of these, and I'd suggest grabbing Maybe one small one to put it in the middle. And that will make up the interior of the ballistic knife to shoot it out. All right, so next on the list is Crazy Glue. Now it's only a $2, okay? So you just get the small little package, so it's $2. And you also want to grab, if you can find it, electric tape. For some reason, I'm in the wrong section or something. So I'm just going to get Gorilla Tape, which is just small duct tape. But you can use duct tape, electric tape, or this tape, which is kind of a mix between both. So, once you get all the supplies, remember you only need springs, glue, tape, screws, and a shower curtain pipe, and then you're ready to go. Now, it also helps if you have uh, any type of useless steel, like you can buy anything if you want. Like if you don't have steel at your house, just buy something like this and you cut it to the circle. Now, it's only $3, but that's just an extra, but I don't need it, but you can grab anything that you want just so the springs don't go all the way to the bottom. All right, so we got our um, stuff, and it came to 3208. Now, the only reason why it came to 3208 was because I added a small spring, but that's really unnecessary if you don't need to. But you could get the supplies and still make one for only like $25. Now, we're gonna make it right now. We're gonna head back to my house, and we'll see you in a minute. All right, we're just gonna take the shower curtain pipe, now, as soon as it comes to the full extension, uh, it won't come out. Like, you cannot twist it because it's got like some type of spring thing in it. And uh, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that they separate. You can't have them, both of them. So we're going to cut it about here. So we're going to cut it all the way down and around. So it separates the two. So we're just going to go to the drum. So, we just got it cut. Now what we need to do is we need to sharpie uh, the line on how big we want it. Now, I kind of lost my measuring tape, so I don't even know. I'll give you the sizes in the description of what I'm going to make it. But I'm just going to draw a random line and then see how it works when I cut it. And I'm gonna make it big for now and we can always cut it shorter after. Line right here. All right, that's our line right there. All right, there you go. So now, let's go cut it. All 
Okay, so now we have our two pieces. This is the one that goes inside, that fits perfectly inside, doesn't move. And here's our outside actual ballistic knife. And now we're just gonna line them up, put one inside the other, and leave out just a little bit. And then that's where we're gonna mark the spot. Pull it out, just like that. It only needs to be about an inch, inch and a half. To mark the line all the way. There you go, and now you have your line. So I'm gonna go cut that, and I'll be right back to you. All right, we got it cut down. Uh, you can see here, it's like a good size smaller now, so this is the inside outside. Now what we have to do is find the front, so I'm going to use this for the front of my knife, and we're going to make an L-shaped cut inside the top, so we're going to make a nice little instrument. So I'm going to draw that little L-shape. Okay, something like this will work quite well. Now, it can be any kind of shape, any kind of size. I've made a ballistic knife before, when I was younger, but it's still does the same thing, so you can make any L shape and it should work perfectly. Alright, so now I'm going to cut that L shape out, and I'll come back to you in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, the next... Alright guys, so, the next step is, after you cut the little L shape, this is what it's going to look like, cut out, and you don't need to find it, but anyway, you're going to take this piece, and you're going to put it inside. And I'd suggest sticking it out like that much. So just with that, open up your Sharpie or whatever permanent marker. Try to make sure it's black, by the way. I should have mentioned that a little bit earlier. And get it a little bit sticking out like that. And then make your little adjustment. And then there's your little hole. You gotta find a little miscellaneous item. Um, you can find anything that looks like this, or you could just take a little piece of metal that I told you to buy earlier and just cut around it so it's the perfect shape. Just make sure that you put it down, sharpie it around, and then cut it with the Dremel. And you can hot glue it on, super glue it on, and then duct tape it so it's secure. And that's where the springs are gonna sit. But I'm just gonna use this item, and it fits perfectly in, so if anything, you can improvise with this. And I'm gonna duct tape it around. And then what you have to do for this stage too is after I make the little L-shaped cutout, what I did is I put this in, make sure it sticks out a little bit, and I made the L-shape, so that's where it's gonna stick into, like that. Now, the next step for me is to cut that little hole and put in the screw. And then after that, we're ready to tape this on and get the ballistic knife ready to go. All right, guys, so what I did was I cut out the hole where the black Sharpie was. Now, it's all right to go a little bit over because I'm using a Dremel. I never switched any tools. I didn't even use a drill, so you don't even need one for this operation. But all I did was I put it in and I put the two bolts in. Now, it's loose right now, like very, very loose but you don't want to actually glue it in place or anything or put the bolts in until you're done the whole project to see how it's going to turn out because you don't want that permanently in there you want to change it up to the hole because you can always, if you fuck up on the hole <laughs> so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little plate I made wherever I put it okay. what we have so far is I taped this on for a little quick test to see if it worked obviously it's a very bad tape job I really don't like this tape, I like electric tape better just to say, point out there but yeah, so that worked out pretty well. I have all the springs. What you want to do with the springs, I don't know why this one's in there, is you want to just loop them on the last hole there so it's kind of bent, so they stick together. And you want to do that to all four of them, so they stack up, and the mini one you just slide through at the end. And uh, what I have to do now, left over for the ballistic knife, is you have to somehow, which I'm gonna figure out right now, I just can't remember how I did it before, is seal a hole right there so no shit can, so the springs can't, go in, so you want them to stop right there. Now I know this is a good spot and I can adjust it. Uh, I can glue it in now, so I don't have to move it anymore. So it'll be permanently there. And that's the last part until it's done. So I'm gonna show you next part is what I did here. So this is it finished. Now all I did to it uh, for this part was I super glued this. Actually, uh, remember the crazy glue I bought? I just crazy glued the top and inside and tightened the bolts. So now this one is completely sturdy, won't move. And I also, for the bottom, I took in a, a Canadian nickel, so five cents, and I just put it in there flat, a little bit in so there's a little bit of room so it goes straight. And I took this again and I just went around it. So that's all I did, I put the nickel in first and that's it. Now for you guys in America, I'm sure your nickel will work, if not, I'm sure you can find some type of object, or maybe even go to your currency and get a Canadian nickel, but uh, this is what it should look like at the end. Now you take your knife part, and it should fit. Now remember, I didn't use all the springs. I actually have one spring left. And I cut down, so there's about three and a half big spring, uh, springs and one small one, that one that I bought. Okay. That's loaded. 
empty. That's what it looks like loaded. Now all you have to do to activate it is just flick your thumb like that. So when I'm coming over here, and it shoots really fast. Here we go. Come on. Go. 